The first set of shots in our film will be a girl playing like a, playing by a lake, probably reading a book or something innocent like that. And then there'll be a, like a fade up to white and a really quick cut to like a, something that looks like when a te an old television goes out of signal. It kind of represents um, the mentally deranged person. Then there's an extreme close up of the girl, the one that was playing by the lake. Then another one of these shots. And then an extreme close up of a mentally deranged person. We then have several shots of her in her bed. As you can see, her hand is strapped in. This will connote how she's very dangerous. We might do some aerial view shots and other shots like that to make it very interesting and add suspense. Then there'll be another one of these shots. What this shot is actually trying to do is trying to show the connection how the mentally deranged person is an old, of a, um, an old lady of the younger girl. Then the younger girl hears something at the lake and starts listening. She goes over to investigate. An extreme close-up looking very surprised. She can hear that somebody is actually being murdered. She tries to back away. But her foot snaps a twig. This is a very extreme close-up and it'll add suspense. There will be a few seconds of silence here. It will then cut to a point of view shot of the murderer's shoe. She'll be hiding in the thicket. You'll then see the murderer running away, but only his legs and that's um, her seeing it from the other side of the lake. She goes to see what was in the... what the murderer had been doing, but we don't see that, she just sees it, I and mean, then we see her wrenching, retching and turning around, so it must have been something very bad. Then it's one of these shots, and then we go to the titles, and while the titles are on, we can hear the mentally deranged person trying to break free. Ends with a shot of the bed, and then a close-up of how she's broken free from her bonds. The whole concept of the movie is to show why the mentally deranged person is mentally deranged. She's got post-traumatic stress disorder and she relives this memory often and that is what we tried to show through the cuts that looked like a telly that couldn't get any signal. This clip doesn't actually reveal what will happen in the movie but we think that the, the mentally deranged person may become a murderer or maybe look for the one who was actually killing the people.